Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is the following cross is performed in fruit flies and here's the genotypes of the cross to give F1 progeny of the following genotypes. This F1 are crossed with testers of this genotype giving the following cross. The following test cross progeny are observed and here's the table what is the map distance between gene P and C. So here we are interested in this particular cross and slash here means we just separate two chromosomes. Take a look. Here is one chromosome, here is another chromosome. On one we have small a, small b and small c and on the other we also have small a, small b and small c. This is what we see here. This is genotype of one parent and here is a genotype of another parent. Genotype is as follows. So on one chromosome we have plus, plus and plus and on the other chromosome we have small a, small b and small c. And we call this a test cross. Because using this test cross we can find the distance between the genes and the order of the genes. Now take a look at this parent. So let's say this is parent 2 and this is going to be parent 1. Parent 2 only can produce one genotype. It doesn't matter even if here or here we will have crossing over. We still going to get only one type of the gamete from this parent which is going to be small a, small b and small c. We can't see any variation here but parent 1 can produce different variants and the first variant of course going to be what we call parental variant. Take a look. For example if crossing over didn't happen then we are going to see genotype plus 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 so this is going to be one chromosome and another is going to be small a, small b and small c. Again if crossing over didn't happen this is variants that we are going to see in a progeny. But also we may see that crossing over happened between gene a and b. In this case we are going to get one chromosome plus small b small c and another recombinant variant would be small a plus plus. So also let's write down these two variants. It's going to be plus small b and small c and also small a and plus plus. Now forget about this crossing over. Crossing over also can happen between gene b and c. If you like you can change these pluses to say capital A, capital B and capital C because this plus here just means wild type of the allele A. This plus here is not the same allele. It's wild type allele of the gene B and this plus stands for the wild type of the allele C. We can say dominant, dominant and dominant because wild type alleles usually dominant but also not necessarily have to be dominant can be just prevailing in a gene pool. Say frequency of this allele would be 10% and frequency of this allele would be 90% so we can say that this is wild type allele. So these two chromosomes would be recombinants if crossing over happened between gene A and B but what if crossing over would happen between gene B and C and we don't have this crossing over then new recombinant chromosomes would be as follows. Again we are going to get two new variants and the one variant would be plus plus and small c. So plus plus and small c and the other variant would be small a small b and plus small a small b and plus. Also what can happen crossing over may happen between gene a b and b c simultaneously. In this case 
we also going to get two recombinant variants and one would be plus small b and plus so let's also list it it's going to be plus small b and plus and the other variant would be small a plus and small c small a plus and small c let me now circle this variant here coming from this parent and this is the only one variant but all these variants coming from parent one and as you see we have eight variants one two three four five six seven eight variants of the chromosomes which would combine with this gamete so these gametes with this type of chromosome or this or this or this would combine with the only variant of the gamete from parent 2 and we will have a diploid organism for example we may have a combination of this gamete from parent 2 and this gamete from parent 1 and this is what we see here so this variant came from parent 2 and this variant came from parent 1 and another variant would be this variant came from parent 1 and this variant came from parent 2 and this is what we see here and you see by looking just at numbers that prevailing variant would be when crossing over didn't happen if genes are close enough to each other crossing over may even never happen at all but if they have some distance then crossing over would happen and the greater the distance between the gene the more chances that crossing over is going to happen also please take a look these two parents only can produce eight combinations of their chromosomes and you see slash here and second parent genotype would be here not genotype of the parent but genotype of the gamete that this parent can produce so let's circle it with green color it's always the same according to my explanation here but on the left we have all these eight variants that also listed here now we are interested only in those variants because take a look our question what is the map distance between the B and C genes we're only interested in those crossing over which happens between gene B and C and here is going to be one variant here where crossing over happened also another variant would be here where crossing over happened between gene B and C again we can replace these pluses with capital A capital B and small c so now we know that this is recombinant and this is also would be recombinant and do we have more yes for example we have here and here crossing over happens between gene b and c but also it happened between gene a and b here this is going to be double crossing over what we see here and here is the genotypes this is the result of the double crossing over now everything we have to do we just have to combine this variants and divide by the total number of the variants in the f2 progeny so we are going to have 104 104 plus 92 plus 3 and plus 1 plus 3 and plus 1 and we have to divide by total number of the observed genotypes and this is going to be 1000 if we combine all those numbers we are going to get 1000 and we are going to get 200 over 1000 which is going to give us 0 0.2 if we need an answer in percentage form we have to multiply by 100 and we are going to get 20% and 1% of the crossing over 
So we got what we got here. This is a frequency of the crossing over and 1% of the crossing over equals to one map unit. This is relative measurements. One map unit equals to one centimorgan. So we can say that distance and we are looking for the distance between the gene B and C would be 20 map units, 20 map units. And this is going to be our answer. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video and goodbye.